Hey everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian, and in today's video we'll be answering the question, what are adjacent vertices? So let's get right into it. I can't swipe this blasted page. Okay, here we go. So let's say we've got two vertices, one and two. Cliche names, but they're effective. Right now, one and two are not adjacent, but why is that? Well, you are here to find the answer. They're not adjacent because there is no edge joining them. But let's say we draw an edge, drawing this edge in blue. This edge joins one and two. They are now adjacent vertices because there is an edge joining them. So let's look at the non-adjacent and the adjacent edges side by side just to make sure it's absolutely clear. So up top, we've got two adjacent vertices, one and two. Again, they're joined by this blue edge, so they are adjacent. And then at the bottom, the vertices three and four are non-adjacent because there is no edge joining them. Then let's take a look at some adjacent and non-adjacent vertices in a slightly more interesting graph. Here, of course, we've got a graph G, and we've got five vertices and a few edges. So can you tell which vertices are and are not adjacent? Well, the adjacent ones, of course, are the ones with edges joining them, and I've taken the liberty of labeling the edges. So we can see that one and two are adjacent vertices in this graph because they're joined by the edge A. One and four are adjacent vertices because they're joined by the edge B, and two and three are adjacent vertices because they're nicely joined by that edge C. Now, some of the non-adjacent vertices, of course, we can see, I'll circle them with, uh, let's say, this green color. One and three are non-adjacent. We see there's no edge between them. Same with two and four. They are not adjacent because there's no edge joining them either. Also, five over here is not adjacent to any vertex. Thus, we can say that five is an isolated vertex. And again, that's because it is not adjacent to any other vertices. That means it's an isolated vertex. Now let's move on to the formal definition. Just take a quick look at this before we go. So the definition, let G be a graph and A and B are vertices in G, then A and B are adjacent in G if and only if the set containing A and B is an element of the edge set of the graph G. This just says that there is an edge in G joining A and B. And I should also mention that the edge set of G, that is a set that consists of two element subsets of the vertex set, like that, but edges are often written just like this instead, simply because it's easier and it conveys the same information, that it's an edge joining A and B. And so that's the definition of adjacent vertices. Two vertices are adjacent in a graph if there is an edge in that graph joining those vertices. And that's really all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you understand what adjacent vertices are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can't wait for my world to